Hey there guys, Slyfox Kenyo here with the first episode of Subnautica. So I have seen this game played, in full disclosure. I have, I have watched the full playthrough of it, so I know what's waiting for me in this deep dark ocean. However, I have a horrible feel of fear of underwater games. Which is funny, because I was born and raised on the ocean, and I actually really enjoy swimming in the ocean myself. I actually love scuba. But for some reason in a video game, when I don't know what's out there, it creeps me out. So I'm gonna probably scream a lot in this game and freak out like a little bitch baby, but that's okay. It looked like fun, so I wanted to play it. So, let's start the first new game. Um, yes, survival mode, not hardcore mode, because I know I'm going to die. Um, I know this game used to not run so well on some higher end PCs, but I think they've cleaned a lot of that up with the actual Steam release of this game, so I'm hoping I'll be able to run this successfully. Um, if I can't run this successfully, then I can't run this successfully and record at the same time, and that was really gonna suck and oh well, but I think I'll be able to. Um, as of yet, and it's doing all the heavy duty loading right now, um, it doesn't seem like we're getting any frame rate drops, so hopefully we'll be okay, but we'll see. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Press any button to continue. Abandoned ship! GTFO! Yeah. Oh, hi. Launch in three, two, one. Can I look? Is that me looking around? No, that's not me looking around. That's a pre cut. Yeah, that's loud. Okay. Hi, pre rendered cutscenes. Hi, fire extinguisher. Oh, God. Hi, panel. And. Whap. That really would hurt. It actually would probably kill you, honestly. You think about a sheet of metal flying at your face like that? Oh, nice. Everything's on fire and we're gonna die. Let me out. And this is where I get control, right? Like, it's right off the bat. Yep. Okay. Ooh, mouse on series a little low. Gimme. Yeah, I'm using the fire extinguisher, thank you. Whew. Okay. Oh, hi, Pad. Booting in emergency mode. Altera! You have suffered minor head trauma. <laughs> this is considered an optimal outcome. Oh, is it? This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive. To keep you alive on an alien world. Great. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Cool. Okay, so that's how I bring up my PDA. I signed to a quick slot. I have a voice log. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Cool. I have no idea. Ooh, beacons. Photos. Blueprints. Alrighty. Use a repair tool. I don't have a repair tool. Is there a repair tool somewhere? Got water. Water. Nutrient block. Nice. I've got flares. Cool. Okay. That's somewhat helpful, I guess. Um, is there anything over here that's worthwhile? Damaged radio. I need a repair tool. I don't have that. A fabricator. Can I get a repair tool? Resources, electronics, sustenance, personal, equipment, tools, repair tools. Sil wow, I need a lot. Silicone, cave sulfur, and titanium. Remember, this is my first time playing this game, so even though I know people have gotten to the end of this and other things have done, other people have done things, I have not. So, hi, bird. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <gasps> and that's also absolutely terrifying. Like, in real life, um, there would be the equivalent of no fucking way in hell would you get me underwater like that. It wouldn't happen. Now, in this game, um, as I remember, you are more or less in a safe zone here. But this is still a huge jump for me. Um, I don't want to. I'm all, I already, I want to quit the game right now. I want to leave. 
and I don't want to do this because this is terrifying. Um, you're on a fucking mo, I guess. Woo! And we are underwater. Now the nice thing about this game, and what I will give it credit for, is that it's underwater aesthetic. Writhing weed is very good, right? So like, even though I'm under, how am I breathing? Am I just close enough to the escape pod that I can just breathe? That's interesting. All right. Well, I need to do, I need a knife, right? What the hell is making that noise? Peeper, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You batch. Water. Or oxygen. Can I climb you? Yeah. Sorry. I, I have to get used to these controls. I know it's going to be really swingy and awkward for a while. So, my question is how... I need a knife to cut things, right? That's the... Basic materials... So wait, hold on. Where's my knife? What do I need for a knife? Sea glide, mobile vehicle bay, sustenance, personal, equipment, pipe, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, fins, O2 tank, air pump. I don't see a knife though. Don't I need a knife? Isn't that like a thing that I need? Tools. Survival knife. Rubber and titanium. Okay. So. Don't know where rubber and titanium is. Hi! Jesus! Fuck off with the pre-rendered cutscene bullshit! <laughs> I don't like it. I don't. Ooh, break limestone. Who is making that sound? Ooh, you're a big old baby, aren't you? I'm gonna stay away from you, because you scare me. So I got a titanium. I need, like, a bunch more, don't I? Can I get food? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come, come, come. You bitch. Thank you. Jesus. Yep, too far. There we go. Okay, now with you, I can do something like this, right? I can make food. Cured food. A cured boomerang. So I need salt for that. But I can cook you. Woo! I did my first thing. I cooked the food. Okay, how do I in inventory again? I have to go this way. Can I can I inventory? Then I can eat. Ha! That's cool. That's really cool. Filtered water. Oh, and I got new things from it. Cool. Okay. All right. Some of the heebie-jeebies are going away slowly. Oh, right. I need to... Basic materials. I need 10 titanium for a titanium ingot. Holy shit. What do I need for you? I just needed one. For the O2 tank, I need three. Okay. So I just need to continue to get some more titanium, is what you're telling me. But my question is, is I don't know what the limestone looks like very well. It's supposed to be all over the place. And I just don't know what it looks like well enough. Yeah, that's a creepy sound. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Where is my titanium? Oh, this is close enough to the surface to count as being out of the water? Okay. Titanium. I am titanium. Seriously, where the fuck is the titanium? I know, I'm staying in my little area because I'm scared to go anywhere else. <sighs> Stop making noises. I don't like the noises. I really... I don't like how quiet this game is. I know you're underwater, so it's just like standard underwater shit, but it's still... Like, this creeps me out. This legitimately creeps me out. And I know. Gimme. Give give that's copper. That's not what I needed. Oh well, yeah. Of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Oh thanks. I'm glad it's unlikely but plausible. Oh that's limestone, isn't it? I'm starting to get there. That's titanium. That's two. 
Whew. Wow, you can kind of actually pop out of the... Acid mushroom. Cool. I did... We can do acid, guys. Anybody want to do some acid? I'm not going down there. <laughs> that's a whole... That's a steady no. That's a... That's a big old no thank you. I am not going out there. I mean, it is really pretty, though. Like, really pretty. Like, really, really pretty. I should not be going towards the Aurora. There are evil things over there that want to eat my face. Like I said, I know... Oh, Peeper, give me... I, I should have picked that up when I had it. I know there are things in this game that will eat my face, and I also know that there aren't too many of them in the safe shallows. However, even being in the safe shallows right now creeps me the fuck out. Where the fuck is the limestone outcropping? I need more limestone. Where is it? Oh, you guys are pretty. There it is. Copper. Is it getting night already? You can't you can't get night already on me. I I can't. I can't do this at night yet. No. No. Oh, that's a hard pass on the night time, please. Please. Giant coral tubes. All right. Like that's seriously a hard pass on night time. So, let's go back in here. I'm surprised at how well this runs. Like I know I shouldn't be. Where's a fabricator? Equipment. Pipe. Floating air pump. Okay, so I can I can give myself underwater oxygen. That's not what I need. I need a fabricator. That's a repair tool. Habit cat builder, flare, survival knife, flashlight, repair tool, a scanner. I need a battery. How do I how do I build a battery? <laughs> God damn it! I don't know these things. Where's my fabricator? Seriously, where's my fabricator? That's a habitat builder. Oh no, this is the fabricator. What am I what am I talking about? That's Ah I, I'm so on edge because of the underwater aspect of this game. Um, I'm pretty sure it's nighttime now. Yeah, so I'm gonna go up, not down. Oh wow, that's pretty. I mean no way in hell am I going down there at night, because screw that noise right now. Um, but very pretty. <laughs> Seriously though, where is So I need a repair tool. That's that's priority number one. Repair tool is number one. How do I get a repair tool? Cave sulfur. So I need silicone rubber. How do I get silicone rubber? Oh, creep vine seed. Okay. Gotcha. So I like repair tools first and foremost. Oh, that's nice. I'll I'll put you in there. I think. Um. Yeah, I don't need you guys yet, and I don't want to lose you guys too soon. And I'll eat you. There we go. Okay. Oop. Not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. All right, we're doing we're doing all right. Is it daytime yet? Is it daytime yet? Oh wow. That just made the pit of my stomach drop a little bit. That looks cool. And it's like it's like moving in real time. Like I don't know if you guys can tell, but like if you leave my cursor still, that I guess it's an orbital moon. I mean, that's a moon for sure. I don't know how far away that object is, but judging by how quickly it's moving, it's orbiting us. It's orbiting this planet. Which means that this is a larger body or a larger planet than that. And that's big. I mean, it's probably small if it's that close. But that's big. Like, that moon is honestly probably bigger than that one. But that one's just closer. I mean, because if you think about how orbital mechanics works, that one can't be bigger than that one. Well, I guess it could be. But it's unlikely. But that is big. It's big and close. 
But it's so pretty. Can it just be freaking daytime? I'm not going into the water at night yet. I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I will wait here. I mean, you guys won't have to wait, obviously, but I will wait. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'll just watch that really pretty sight. Also, you only have like three days until the aurora explodes or something, so I really am burning night light. I was going to say daylight, but I guess I am burning night light, but I don't care. I really don't care, because <laughs> screw that. Off that noise. Especially without something that has a flashlight like the sea glide. Or is it sea glide? The thing that... My, my little hoover. <laughs> my sea hoover. I need a sea hoover, guys. That planet is so pretty, though. Oh, I thought that was another one for a second. I was about to... Oh! Are you about to... ...is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Okay, so the Aurora's gonna blow up soon. Really soon? Wow, that's like a day. A day in whatever planet this is time. Which apparently is only a couple minutes, but still! I'm... I'm still not moving. And also, since that's orbiting in a polar fashion, I'm assuming we're actually close to one of the poles of this planet. Because it wouldn't rotate this way, right? Things rotate this way. And things in the universe tend to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. We really don't know why. But they all tend to rotate in the same direction. So, if that's rotating around us, we must be pretty close to one of the poles on this planet. And that's actually exactly what that would look like. So that's really effing cool. Alright. That's enough light. Let's go back in, and then down. Okay. Nice morning. See, now things are all nice and pretty again. I still need more limestone, though. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Ooh, it's pretty, though. Ooh, quartz. I don't like this. Can I say that enough? That's table coral. Where am I? <laughs> I'm staying as close to this thing as I can until I get a mechanism for moving faster, because I'm not stupid enough to try to take on this adventure alone. I know how bad this is going to go. <laughs> I, I know. I know how badly this is going to end for me. <laughs> And yes, I am hyper-cautious about things like this. Hey, you. I guess I can't pick you up. That's okay. But seriously, where the fuck? Why is limestone outcropping so rare? Isn't it supposed to be like a common thing that you find everywhere in the beginning of the game to help you along your path to not being a total shithead? Yes, I know. Shut up. Like, I need limestone. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. And I'm not going into dark areas until I have. Oh, that's the creepvine forest. Hi, creepvine forest. There are things in there that want to kill me, so I'm not going to go that way yet. That's another hard pass. <laughs> Sorry. Limestone. 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 Anybody. Limestone going once. Limestone going twice. I need oxygen. I'm so going a third and a final time. That's where the asshole was. What the hell are you? You look creepy. I don't like you very much. But there's some quartz, but no limestone. I need limestone. Oh, hi, big boy. Oh, I'm right by my ship. There we go. <laughs> Alright, do I have enough things to fabricate things? What am I... Where's my repair tool? That's an O2 tank. Oh, cool! I can breathe more. Nice. Alright. But that's still not what I need. I need cave sulfur and silicone, so I, I have to get a knife first. So I have to, I have to swim over there. Shit. Fine. Let's fabricate this thingy. Alright, how do I equip you now? Yes, how do I how do I equip my O2 tank? Oh, it just automatically does it. Cool. Oh, I'm up to 75 seconds of underwater. That's nice. That's really nice. 
All right, is it nighttime yet? <laughs> no, it's still daytime. All right. So which way was the creep vine forest? I don't remember. That's a thingy-mabobber. That's a big thingy-mabobber. I don't like big thingy-mabobbers. Big thingy-mabobbers have a tendency to want to eat my face. Blue palm. That's a blue palm, guys. Don't know about the red palm or the green palm. And that's limestone! Gimme. Gimme. Get my you motherfucker! <laughs> have to, like, speed click that to pick it up. I love how this area is literally called the Safe Shallows, and I still freak out like a little bitch. Like, it is absolutely horrible. Like, I, you, you guys don't understand the level of oh fuck no that I am currently undergoing. Like, my anus has been clenched since the start of this episode. Which for you probably hasn't been that long, but for me it's been a, a minute. Ooh, a creature egg. <laughs> That's what we should do! Go to a world and pick up fucking eggs, and we're going the wrong way. Where is... That's the way we want to go. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to go towards the Aurora yet. Believe it or not, towards the Aurora is probably a bad idea. Especially because I know what looks around towards the Aurora. And it's things that think that my face is food. Are you supposed to be a guide? I, you're trying to guide me. That's cute. Oh, hi, you're a big old whale butt farty thing, right? You're the guy that hurts me. I don't like you. And I don't like the creep vine either, honestly, but hey, what can we do about that? Nope. That's a nope. There's a Captain Nope over there. Captain Nope, all aboard the Nope ship. There's a big old nope. Please nope off and please go nope yourself. All nopes will be recorded in the highest order of nopeness available. Get it. Get it. Get it. Now get the fuck out. Go! Swim like your life depends on it. Get out. Get the fuck out. Whew. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is fucking horrible. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Like, you guys don't understand the level of oh fuck no that is going on in my head right now. It, 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 it is seriously the worst. Why did, oh, high capacity ocean tank, okay. No, I didn't, ah oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Oh, I got enough to make the silicone rubber too. Okay, good. Whew. Um, I don't, oh, I can make titanium from metal salvage. That, oh, ah, ooh. Ooh, ah, just a little bit, ooh, ah, a little bit more. All right, I needed a, what do I need? What do I need? Boom, what do I need? Boom, what do I need? I don't need a locker. Equipment, survival knife or fins, fire extinguisher. What are fins? I need two silicone rubber for those. I need one. So let's get the knife first. Because at least were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Nice. I mean, not nice, but nice. All right, so I need one more silicon rubber to get my fins back. And then what do I need for the repair tool? Cave sulfur. Where the hell do I get cave sulfur? But I have a knife now. <laughs> I'm guessing I get cave sulfur from a cave, but I really don't want to. Okay, so I'm down here. Where would one get cave sulfur? What is it? Oh god, what's after me? Oh god, get away! Get out, get out, get out! Something wants to eat my ass, and not in the good way. God damn! Why do I hear 
music. How do I get cave sulfur? That's quartz. Oh, acid mushrooms will hurt you if you kill them. Good to know. But seriously, where do I get cave sulfur from? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. A lot of quartz. But not a lot of... Cave sulfur. Because I don't know where to get it from. And it's becoming nighttime, so we know what that means. How do I get cave sulfur? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seriously don't know where to get cave sulfur. Guys, can you help me? How do I get cave sulfur? That's a coral shell plate. That's a weed. I mean, I'm assuming you get it from a cave, but I don't know what caves are cave enough to get it. And I really don't want to go down and find out. But that's what I need, is a fucking repair tool. But we're going to have to leave that for the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> partly because I'm freaking out and partly because we're out of time. So thank you all very much for watching. I, I'm going to do this game. I just have to get over myself because I'm freaking the freak freaking out right now and it's not good. So, um, thank you all very much for watching. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough thus far. I, I know I'm not doing much, but I'm, tr I'm trying. It, I will become desensitized over time, but I'm trying. <laughs> you have to give me the chance. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I will see you guys. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks. Remember, through gaming, we can change the world. I'm going to cry. Sly Fox out.